for the first time in months. Classes for the more than 380 students of the Lawrence T. Gay Memorial School are being held in the same location. When a CBC team visited the Spooners Hill Institution, there was no obvious trace of the persistent odor which officials have been trying to determine the source of since last October. Chief Education Officer Dr. Ramona Archer Bradshaw, who was on hand for morning assembly, says the decision to return to the campus was based on the results of several tests undertaken. These included ensuring wells were sealed, that there was no leakage of gas from septic tanks, and air quality tests. After analyzing all of those results, we made the decision that the teachers and the students could come back to the plant um, given that all of the findings indicated that there is nothing in the atmosphere at the LTG Memorial Primary School at present that could be hazardous to the health. Dr. Archer Bradshaw is, however, giving the assurance that the Ministry of Education stands ready to respond should the environmental issue return. Given that the school is embedded in a community, there is no telling when a type of order could be detected by staff members and our students. So what we as a ministry will do is that we will continue to monitor the situation and if there is any incidence of um, the order being detected on the compound again, we will make sure to make contact with our air quality specialists who will come at the same time to determine the link or the correlation between the order that is detected by the staff members and our students and uh, what actually exists in the atmosphere at the time. Principal Brent Blackett says he's comfortable with the results of the test conducted and was happy to have the full student body back at the school. The children seem to be very happy to be back at school um, from the response I got this morning they are happy and my staff is generally happy to be back as well. Let me say for my part that I have not had any experiences, you know, I've not experienced the order. Um, so we will wait and see because now that the plant will be running at full capacity, we will see if any issues arise. But nonetheless, we know that we have the backing of uh, the Ministry of Education and we will be monitoring the situation closely. Mr. Blackett confirms the attendance on day one of the Trinity term for both teachers and students was high. Sharika Griffith, CBC News.